Hello, welcome back to some more Jack and Baxter 100% Gaming. Uh, as G3 has already admitted in the chat, I just want to make it clear right from the start, he has fully admitted that it is his fault that we are late. Uh, surprisingly, everyone was actually ready on time, but of course G3 had to make it tradition that uh, we started late as per the script that Saren sent out to everybody. Uh, so, we have Azalea here with me on commentary. Say hello. Hello. And, uh, yeah, we've got a G3 and Crazy Frog, uh, Crazy Frog fan uh, racing today. Also say hello. Hello. Oh, uh, hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it looks like we've got one person on Open Goal, one person on PS2, if I'm not uh mistaken and some very close pbs what are you guys thinking about the race coming up do you guys think it's gonna be a good one? Oh, that's not my pb and i don't think that's crazy frogs either right mine's uh, 152 i think okay yeah you're 157 on the screen i'm 155 on the screen i think mine's a 148 so <laughs> okay oh wow <laughs> ah um oh yeah, said <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I pp during the last run, so I thought that got through. Um, oh, well. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I haven't been able to upload it because it hasn't been uploaded. Oh, well, if it's not uploaded, it doesn't count. Oh, well. I think that's the this, rule, even, right? this looks better that it's that close, and we're both <laughs> probably going to pp, but we'll get lower I mean, than yeah. these times. It, it's, so. still, it's still also going to be a very entertaining race, I'm sure, and very close race. I'm calling it now. I hope so. You do actually hope I win by you know comfortably, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, if we're all ready to go, uh, I think we should get started. Uh, yep. ready I believe we got a quick fifteen second delay, but uh, if you guys wanted to ready up, let's get this show on the road. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Lucky Oh, G3's off straight away. That's a very quick 15 seconds. Yeah. Alright. We start off in our tutorial level. Uh, guys rock. Yeah. We'll get to see kind of the basics of movement. We see a, we see a lot of roll jumping, which is going to be the main form of roll jumps and punches. It'll be the main way that these runners move themselves throughout the levels. Yeah. Pick up our first seven scout flies. Yeah, it's uh, all nice in one place. I hope that's the same thing for the rest of the levels. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Bog uh, sorry, Boggy. That's later on. Uh, guys, as, nice, as you said, a nice little intro. It gives you an intro to the, mu uh, the movement, but uh, coming up now especially, there's the potential for some really nice movement as long as you oh yeah <laughs> agree wow this sink <laughs> the, yep oh. all right just a few more orbs to pick up here in Geyser, and then we'll move into Hub 1. Yeah, picking up the orbs that we forgot at the start. Just uh, always quicker to get it with Blue Eco, which grabs all the orbs, makes them come towards you, gives you a little bit of speed. We're definitely going to see that later on. Nothing compared yeah. to the challenges that lie ahead. Having no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We love to stay and in this is one of the unfortunate things about this uh, category. Uh, in order to have a balance between PS2 and Open Goal, a lot of cutscenes. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green Yeah, runners on Open Goal are also are uh, forced to put the cutscenes on. Um, for the tournament. But yeah, open goals are really nice, easy way for players to be able to get into into running the game in general. So I 
really like that that resource is available. Yeah, it's, it's been such a huge effort on uh, some... Uh, I mean, I, I can't even name them all, but like the the team behind Open Goal have put in so <laughs> much work to this that it's actually insane. Yeah. The fact for that sure. it's even possible to do this. <laughs> G3 going for that... Uh... For that extra um, scout fly box, pretty a little bit earlier. Usually we get that box when we go for the when we go talk to the mayor. Yeah. Uh, but both players working on moving the yak house into the pen for the farmer. Yeah, by by, by getting that scout fly, it's uh, RNG manipulation for this. Yes. Yeah, de definitely, definitely that. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh the cow is not cooperating with g3 yeah as saren's the gang to watch with <laughs> the pile of blanks on him you know, get nice and comfy and strap in for this uh, for this exciting match. Both runners have a very similar PB, so it should be pretty solid. Hey, into the, into the forbidden jungle for both players now. Hope that no one soft locks on the mirrors this time around. Two orbs here that crazy fog fans picking up. Easily oh, the worst two orbs. Definitely the worst two orbs. In terms of rooting, the worst like pair of orbs, those two. Yeah. Just so hard with the way. Every literally every other hundred and forty eight other orb are in just just fine positions. <laughs> and it's just I... those. I, I was gonna say the other like 1,900, but no, there there are some singular orbs that are worse, but yeah. Well, and, then, and then there's the tricky spider cave orbs. Yeah, that's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right, both players yeah. are pretty both players are pretty close in sync going it down into temple um, with crazy frog in a slight lead. Yeah, coming up to the first boss. Yeah. Oh, and there is a fall, so they're gonna be very close to sync. Yeah, that balances it out a little bit. Yeah. It's close enough that uh, Fish genuinely could make the difference here. The yeah. Fish minigame. <laughs> yeah. But just a note, I, I think with Fish it's a little bit easier to get Manip Fish on PS2 than it is on Open Goal is what I was... What I think I was told about. Again, I don't exactly know. I'm not that well versed in open goal yeah so so open goal actually fixed the manip oh. so you can't oh, i'm glad g3 yeah. went back up there i was like he didn't get them all but, uh mm -hmm. yeah o open goal actually fixed the bug uh if it, if you call it that oh no g3 rolled off the edge which means crazy frog is first to plant lost Gets that first, gets the first uh, hit there.
<laughs> All right. Yeah, so here comes the third hit for G3. Both players have completed Plant Boss. Yeah. There speaking is. Speaking of speaking of bad orbs. <laughs> oh yeah, the five orbs or four orbs that come from Plant Boss. Yeah. Like, I would 100% in a run. In like the regular place, you never think to stomp on Plant Boss's head to get orbs. Yep. There's nothing like it anywhere else in the game. Yeah. But yep, there's... Gotta make... For 100%, we need to make sure we see 2,000 out of 2,000, and... And that... Oh, they get all the... Power cells. Yeah, all 101. Yes. It's funny, for 100%, get... you need 101. Yeah. You still get the best ending at 100 cells, but uh, yeah. you still only sit at 99%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no way. Clean movement for G3. Coming out of Temple, he's definitely caught a little up by a second or two, I would guess. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely there. Almost yeah, neck and neck now again. Neck and neck again, yeah. So we are nearing towards towards um fishermen. Players here should be going for a little bit of a uh they should be trying to trigger they should be trying to trigger the fish cutscene early after we get through this section here. Yeah. So I don't think G3 went for it. Uh, oh, okay. Goal. Oh, yeah. I don't have Crazy Frog Fan's audio, but... Yeah. I don't... So I genuinely don't know if he got it or not. <laughs> yeah. They kind of did similar movement. Alright, so... Yeah. Oh, so Open Gold doesn't have that, does it? No, well, if it does, it's super difficult that I haven't seen anybody oh, okay. go gotcha. for it. Yeah, both players just went for it regularly. I mean, I'm inclined... I'm not sure. Uh, that's, that's a good point, yeah. Yeah. No cutscene skip on open goal, says Mr. Mr. Wah. Okay, so yeah. yeah, another, another thing that they fixed. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so, yeah, he didn't get the scout fly cell, so if he did, uh, <laughs> if he did pause correctly, he played the uh, scout fly getting uh, sound from the scout fly. That's a good point, Saren. It is a little funny that no one He's like super surprised that Daxer can talk. But I guess if, but I guess if if, the, if in this game we never if Jack is a silent protagonist in this game, then like, I guess they can have that affordability to just be like, oh yeah, like, you know, this person's animal buddy talks for him. I mean, we we don't see any other. Hot souls until yeah. Jack three, so that might just yeah. be they An might ox. just be a talking animal. Yeah. Anyway, did some fish coming in for both players. Let's see what we've got coming into eel face for both people. One oh seven. One thirty two versus yeah, I mean, yeah, you a can, lot. Yeah, you can clearly see the difference. Like. Yep. But the fish are going pretty good in eel. We're pretty decent in eel phase for uh, for G three. Although, yeah, you see, we see Crazy Frog finish in eel phase. Yeah, that's the beauty of a net fish. <laughs> yep. Now we're coming up to the mirror where people can softlock. Yep. 
and you can you can really only soft lock it if you're if you go for the if you go for the uh, in, for the pause right here as soon as it, as soon as you get it. But as long as you let it sit, you shouldn't have to worry about it. Oh. Okay, it yeah, looks like crazy the... frog clan got it. And, and G3 did not go for it. G3 didn't go for it. Okay. So there's a little bit of time saves for Crazy Frog, as he's gonna now make his way over to Misty Island. I do like Misty Island. This is. So oh, in yeah. terms of like the the speed run, like Forbidden Jungle is quite technical, like straight mm -hmm. away. Yeah. But Misty Island is the real like immediate reset in pretty much every category. It is very yeah. unforgiving. Yeah, definitely. See, there's a good muse grab by Crazy Frog. We'll see the same from G3 here shortly once he grabs the initial orbs. Nice. I... Okay, and Crazy Frog on to Zeppelins. What a strange cycle. Mm -hmm. I think he... It's definitely an interesting cycle, but he's gotten a lot of the Zeppelins there. In fact, there's all of them. Alright, he still manages to hit the lurker there. over here and grab this last one. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna notice here on Crazy Frog Screen, there's just a lot of technical movement in this in this part of the level. Oop. Okay, maybe we'll spin back to grab that orb. <laughs> And then cheeky little rock climb right there. Yeah. Here's gonna be our first cannon use of the game. So we see Crazy Frog doing this and doing grabbing this power cell. Um, and as long as he avoids going into the center of the arena area, he will dodge the ambush that is in here. Yeah, playing it very safe though. Uh, yeah. You, on the one hand, you don't want to risk triggering the ambush now that you've got the cell and wasting all that time. On the other hand, though, you can get surprisingly close to the center without triggering it. Yeah, it's just pretty much like, I would imagine it's a very small center, small area in the center, so you can definitely take some wider, you know, a bit of a more direct route from where you, from where you land in the arena. Okay. 
going through bridge section of of this level now. All the rolling and jumping logs. <laughs> Interesting. He did a he did a roll he did a roll die uh, over rolling maneuver then uh then a then he you wanted to risk the uh, missing the boosted. Yeah, you otherwise you typically see people do almost like a oh. an uppercut. Yeah, like G three just did. Yeah. And the sink! That is perfect sink! Yes! And we, got, and, we, and we got different cutscenes. <laughs> that was wonderful. Alright, now G3 is grabbing the last orbs and gonna head over to... Alright. You know what? You, 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 know, you have the eco, you might as well, pay, might as well use it. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. Thank yeah. You. All right. I maybe he gets the swipe reset afterwards, or it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, everyone's uh, favorite bit of the run. Uh, four minutes worth of cutscenes. <laughs> True. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go talk to the. We gotta go talk to the mayor, and then we gotta. We do two cutscenes with the mayor. Cutscene with with Jack's with Jack's uncle who disappears, and. Um. And then the sculptor. Actually, no, sculptor is after. I forget about that. But, all right. We've got Shady Mayor and Uncle Oh, Uber no, G3's gonna, G3 had to find the ledge to grab. Yeah. Right, so he's going to do Uncle first. Hello there, my dear boy. You caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I wish to set off on my journey. Yesterday, yeah. But I seem to be a spot short on the old... Precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, <laughs> uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. I see you two are back to make the trip. I, I like to think that he's the like spiritual uncle. Like Yeah. yeah. Like the same way that you've got Oh this is Oh this is Uncle James and it's just like not related anyway, just a close family friend. Yeah. Like a guardian put in charge of Jack. Essentially is how I imagine it. Yeah. You got the same eyebrows. Yeah. Oh, what a wonderful sight! I thank you. And the entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you earned a power cell. So uh, you. Uh, Contribution, good. Uh, hey, coming up, we got Sentinel yeah. Beach, one of the. I I want to say chillest levels, but we, yeah, I guess you could say. Yeah, so straight away you got some nice tech, like you want to. In order to break these boxes, there's a couple of ways. Like Crazy Frog uh, just got a, a nice free box break with the cannon there, but uh, yeah. the quickest way is just to go up and break them yourself. So that's what we're going to see right now. Mm -hmm.
arsenal with uh, Crazy Frog breaking the boxes. We've got uh, G3 climbing the tower. Checking. You want to make sure that you do uh, do blow up the pelican as well. Yes. Now this uh, slow chasing malarkey. Indeed, yeah. And these boosters as well are so important. Yeah. yeah I, I, I should have waited until G3 did it, but yeah, those boosters are so important. I'm glad they all got them. Agreed. Yeah. They are very crucial to this run. Both players opting to go to the right of the of that area. Usually we see players go to the left for a bit more direct route. But you can get you can get caught in that area a little bit. Oh, for sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you might. You'll also see, like, uh, instead of just swimming, which is super slow, uh, there they'll be pushing forward repeatedly in the water, yeah. just so you get that first little boost of speed rather than playing <laughs> out the whole thing. Although, if we're lucky, we might see some water hops instead in a minute. Yeah, maybe. There you go. Frog has completed the birds. Yep. And, and now we're going to see that from G3. Yeah, yep. and as, as, as seagulls are known to do, they cause an avalanche. Cause yeah. <laughs> as, as they are known to do. It's really funny. Yeah. So Crazy Frog got one nice water hop at least mm -hmm. which is good to see uh, by jumping as soon as you hit the water uh, you get like you get to keep your forward blue eco momentum without the swimming momentum yeah so we're going to see G3 do a similar this similar movement here yeah he's, he's got some good ones yeah got some good water hops Now to unclog Samos's darn green eco collectors. <laughs> yep. Definitely not one of the last things that we're doing before leaving this hub, but you know. Yeah. Not too far from being from being done in this area. Got a, a couple, only a couple more things to do here. Side, he's about to complete the the, the egg. Uh, yeah. <laughs> gonna fluff, fluff. gonna gonna open Flut Flut's egg like it was stuck. And talk to the bird lady. It's gonna come in very handy later on. Yeah. We saw that frog wasn't quite able to get the uppercut like G3 was to get down to the bottom before, so you skip having to fall. No, no. No, 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 no. Look. Yes, indeed, gaming. <laughs> Alright. Oh, 
I'll take this little kid back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. Well, one more orb left. There's 150 out of 150 for Sentinel. Just the final... This, the final orb or power cell to go. And now Crazy Frog will leave Sentinel Beach. We do a quick save and load because it brings us to the beginning of... Brings them to the beginning of the level, saving a bunch of movement time. Yeah. Nice level where there's only one checkpoint, so... Yeah. Straight out. Indeed, yeah. Now we go talk to the sculptor and give him can get or return his muse. Oh the muse! You saved her! Oh, you really are the best. Here, take this power cell. I won't need it now that I have my inspiration back. And speaking of things that we've put off, uh, now we've yeah. got the Yakel cell that we did right away. Yeah, the first, the yeah, first power cool. cell in Hub One that we do. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. The farmer probably just had a probably slept through the entire thing. Like, he's, oh, def oh, definitely. He, he didn't notice. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> now we're gonna grab the rest of. We're gonna take our power, our orbs to the oracle. Yep, get absolutely ripped off by the exorbitant prices. Yep. Who awakens the oracle? Wait, one of you has the light within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 Breakers I, I like the theory that he's talking about Daxter there. For yeah. Even though this was written Another before that was yours. written. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, another perfect sync! Yeah. Great. It's the, wow. same, it's the same one this time. Yeah. 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 G3 in the chat, updating his PB halfway through. Yeah. Oh no, Crazy Frog Fan missed a load of orbs. Oh no, oh, he missed okay. the orbs. Oh, oh he, actually, say, he, he actually <laughs> almost missed that orb. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> Alright, yeah. here we go. He should be able to talk to Kira right away. Yeah. We're gonna tiny, tiny little optimization, but you want to trigger that fire canyon text as quickly as possible. Wait, you have the 20 cells needed to power my yep. heat shield. Now be careful. The yeah, it doesn't stack the with the 50 out of 50, and you can't talk to, so to Kira cool. until they've gone away. Over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees, and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire canyon gets pretty hot. So keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Now, Good Hub 2 coming up. Uh, hub 2 is absolutely brutal. Yeah, definitely. Some of the hardest skill-based things, like uh, rats, uh, sorry, moles, moles and yeah. rats, both both skill-related. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and then the uh, luck-based things, like button clip, coming up as well. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> definitely luck. <laughs> luck. <laughs> G3 running a bit hot. He'll be absolutely fine. I would guess. Yep, got the cooling balloon there. Gonna grab a cooling balloon here. Yeah, yep. he's good. All right, crazy frog at the power cell now. 
Yeah, they're not too far apart. Very close race here so far. Yeah, but this, so is, go... this is G3's time to shine for his Paul's Buffers. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, he actually got a reverse pause buffer. <laughs> Did I say reverse like that means other thing? He got a pause buffer where the HUD disappears rather than appears. Nice to see. Yeah. I don't know what you'd call that. I just kind of made the term up. <laughs> I don't know either, yeah. <laughs> Alright, on to Geologist. Oh, they were so close to Messi's <laughs> circle at the same time. You could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We asked you for help. Well, perhaps I would help never help. make things up. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the precursor basin next to our village for years. Did, did you know that lava tube skips impossible? I I heard that. Yeah, I heard lava tube skip that can't happen. I don't I don't know. <laughs> Back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning yeah. mold. Lightning moles, we care. Maybe for two power cells. <laughs> nice try. That's one of my <laughs> favorite moments <laughs> in the entire game. <laughs> it's it's justified though. I think yeah. I think lightning moles should be worth two power cells. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> Now that's a mod that I I would commission. Like, uh, add it so that whenever you do moles, it instead gives you two power cells. Yeah. And like update the cutscenes as well, where uh, George just goes, "Yep, fair enough." Into basin we go to start moles. <laughs> yeah, and G3 has already run into problems. Yeah, looks like crazy kind of has too. Yeah, opportunity to get this lurker here is actually not a bad shout, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see G3's have the same idea. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure to get him on this corner, otherwise, uh, otherwise you have to do a little bit of backtracking. Yeah. And I still love how the quickest, <laughs> the quickest way to turn around after that scout fight is just jump straight into the wall. Same, yeah, that's great. Alright, this mole should be taken care of. No, because he decides to not go towards the... towards the, uh, their home. Oh my goodness. Look up behind him, it literally... the mole literally ran into the back of G3. <laughs> they both went straight over the hole. Yeah. Amazing. They should this should give this should give both this, both of them should go in there, yep. Now there's one mole left. No. <laughs> Cheeky mole. Okay. There we go. Hey. Right onto this lurker. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, so uh, Crazy Frog and hopefully G3 in a second. They're picking up the Blue Eco, which I did say earlier would be a little bit more useful. Yeah. Uh, it gives you a huge speed bump on the Zuma. So uh, it's nice to keep it through these purple rings. Uh, yeah. If you can keep it for as long as possible, it definitely makes this like semi auto scrollery bit uh, not only more fun but more uh, more quicker I was about to say yeah. but quicker <laughs> <laughs> new record achieved yeah fun fact I think the actual world record is like 11 seconds oh that's oh really that's interesting It's, it's done on foot and it definitely isn't cheated in any way by clipping out of bounds. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. <laughs> Alright. Also, we see that one person is in daytime and one person is in nighttime. Hey, hey. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't make a difference except for how it looks, but... Yeah. Oh, it just looks so much better in the daytime, do you not think? Even this level looks so much better. Yeah. I kind of like beach at night. Yeah, beach is the exception. <laughs> Yo. One oh, cycle plants. It. One cycle plants. Question mark. Oh, no, he missed one plant on the inside. Oh, no. I count that honestly. Oh, it's so oh, no. And Then he gets trolled by the last plant. Yeah. Right at the end. All right, and now it's G 3s turn to go for for plants. Like G3's got it. No. Oh no. Okay. He got That's trolled as well. That, oh, you're right. Man. Oh, I was gonna say the same plant, but it wasn't. It was the one no, that's yeah. Still hiding behind the rock. I thought Both he. I thought he solid touched it. efforts. Yeah, really good solid. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll give it to him. I'll give. Yeah. Honorary one and a half cycle plants to each. Sounds good to me. All right, and now we're gonna see. Last lurkers here, as well as G3 having to grab the the power cell that's high in the air. All right, and now Crazy Frog is can go do. Uh, he'll go do. It's very close to blue rings, if he's not already on blue rings. Yeah, this should be blue rings. Okay. So we're into the last section of basin. Yeah. <clears throat> I was about to say, uh, he hasn't had the pop-up yet for um, all the orbs, but it, it doesn't matter because we're going to do a the whole lap of the level. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty of time to pick up any orbs we missed. Yeah, G3 did manage to pick some up. He didn't bounce over anything. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's not so much a case of missing them, it's a case of just like bouncing over them, or you don't have to go out of the way to pick them up. So, yeah. There it is. Yeah, There's okay. just one crate, yeah. And so here we'll pick up the. Uh, power self for plants. Okay. Yeah, the the two rings that G3 just got. Mm -hmm. The only reason why blue rings are not possible on foot. Oh yeah, because you can't. Because you got to get up out of that area. Yeah. 
I mean, this one might also be hard. I don't know. I, yeah. We haven't got that far. Mm hmm. Yeah, you're right. Scout flyer, a uh, second last scout flyer, second last power cell, uh, coming up to the last scout flyer. Yeah. Nice time save here. He's a little, yep, a little, uh, Oz buffer with the. Oh, it's a, a little, uh, power cell cut to get. And then save and reload the level, so. Yeah. Here we go. Gonna go get all. Yeah, I'm gonna get the uh, Oracle cells here before heading to Lost Precursor City. Yeah, same thing for G3. Mm -hmm. I saw something on, on Reddit about somebody being stuck with that little old vent thing for ages and both of these ah. guys just made it so easy yeah yeah that's pretty difficult honestly like if you don't have you like, even with like really good movement one little bonk and it's not fun nope now we go collect after two yep we got geologist cells and now It's off to grab this other. Um, Thank you for saving those molds. That's awfully good. Scout fly and now. A power cell to help you out. Can a little camera manipulation, so that way we don't trigger the blue sage cutscene. Yeah, I don't think did we even talk about that. <laughs> no, we didn't. But this is the section where there's a lot of camera manipulation because they skipped the blue the blue sage cutscene. Uh, at the beginning of the level, a uh, beginning of Hub Two. So you can see here, that's why uh, G3's camera is to the right here, so we stay out. So we don't like. I don't know if it's a. I don't know exactly where the bubble is. That's referred to, but yeah. Yeah, as long as you, as long as you keep looking right. Yeah. You're uh, you're fine. Looks like G3 got the death warp. Oh, interesting. He's doing this early. Yeah, I don't think he was planning on doing that early. <laughs> yeah, agreed. And this is typically the last thing we do in, yeah, in LPC. Some, some people do like to do it just to get it out of the way. Oh, yeah. okay. But yeah, I, I think it just was a... Uh, Unfortunate drop into the water. Yeah. Don't, and we don't worry and not worry too much about missing that orb there. Don't, that's uh, on the backtrack. Ooh, taking a death. Yeah, luckily again, not the worst. Like he lost more time with that fall than he did by taking that death. Yeah. <laughs> A nice water hop there. <laughs> yeah. So this room's not fun. No, yeah. Oh gosh, okay. Little little stuck. Yeah, crazy frog made it look easy though. That those platforms. Yeah. In fact, G3 taking another death there. Yeah, that one's <laughs> slightly more unfortunate. Yeah. I think we. Yeah, I think from here we're just gonna go do stuff. We're just gonna go grab this, do the flies because he, that fly goes right over where the platform where G3 didn't quite get up to yet.
crazy frog just waiting out the electric the electric water cycle. Like going to do the slides. Two health though, right? I think oh no, so. he is only on one. Oh, only on one. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't want to risk it in that case. Don't blame him. Yep. The second slide, this is where you definitely don't want to miss any orbs. Yeah. Oh no. That's not a good death for G3. So a nice little pause buffer there from Crazy Frog. Yeah. A nice little cutscene skip, as well as cell cutscene skip. Yeah. And then the boosted as well across means that you can just take this as a nice leisurely pace. You don't have to worry about the uh, eco following you up behind. Nope. I mean, it's not an issue, but you know, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ledge Grabless from G3. Yep. Looks like Crazy Frog has escaped the room. Very nice by him. Now it's time for button clip after this power cell. Oh nice, G3 getting the pause buffer, also no, there's no eco rising, it doesn't matter, but it's a nice little thing to, to do. Yeah. S skips the cutscene. And Crazy Frog managed to teleport above the water level by a skip. Yeah. And then, yeah, this is a nice little routing thing from these guys. They didn't, neither of them did the puzzle because they were on low health. Or by choice, one of those, but I assume yeah. because they're on low health. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, doing this now is quite nice. And oh, yeah. so easy. Made, well, made it look so easy anyway. I know, yeah. <laughs> Alright, puzzle room skip done. G3 has to make this boosted with Blue Eco. It doesn't even slow down. He got it ledge grabless as well. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Got the ledge grab. He's gonna take two damage, which means he. Oh. Okay. It's no problem. He'll just drop down and grab that. But we do get a Daxter cut. We do get a Daxter death scene. Oh, G3. That. Is not good. <laughs> the, the, the sync platforms. <laughs> yeah. Just, just oh, and swag, be... swag. Oh, too late. <laughs> mm-hmm. A little early on the jump, I think. Or button clip there. Got it that time. Yeah. Spin G3, yes. Good spin. 
I, I, I still can't believe just how, how lazy they were when it came to just putting the wall, uh, the invisible yeah. wall. There. It's like it's so close that the momentum of that button is enough. <laughs> nice, crazy frog got it. Oh, he almost had it, but the he jumped over it, and the fish just swallowed him up. Yeah, I'm so glad he remembered uh, to pause buffer through that. Yeah. Um, cutscene bubble there, it's still there. Yeah. It'll be there until we trigger Red Sage. Actually, yeah. I think until we trigger Citadel. Gotcha. Yeah, fortunately, once we leave these hubs, we never have to go back to them in the run. Typically. Yeah, I I think if it does get to the point where someone's forgotten an orb or yeah. God forbid a cell. <laughs> yeah. Ah, G3 got a common. He got a common death cutscene. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty sizable leaf for Frog to start here. Oh, it does get bounced back, but just has to remember to get the spin like he did that time. This should be the, yeah, the last or the last orbs for uh for G3 before he moves on. Yeah. All right. All right, got a fish skip, skip, skip coming up. Yeah. Oh, he's going for... He's going for V1. Wow. Oh, he didn't get it. That is... One of the most risky strats. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah, I can't believe he went for that. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. The strat Crazy Frog did is probably the safest, I think. Yeah, and he just went a little too... And it, it looked okay, and... He just ended up not being quite. Yeah, I just uh, I think he. He needed to wait. Tried to uppercut across the platforms and yeah. just accidentally punched into the water too much. Oh, gotcha. All right. Both gamers in boggy. Yeah. Boggy, nice, nice linear level. Uh, little, little offshoots every now and again to pick up cells and uh, especially scout flies. But uh, other than the flat flat area right in the middle, it's just a giant loop. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice little optimization from Crazy Frog through the platform. Yeah. That, uh, that uh, damage was on purpose there from Crazy Frog. Yeah. <laughs> you take damage there so you can... Yeah. And I think the damage there from G3 also was on purpose, but, like, actually. Yeah.
Uh, this is what the ambush that we skipped in Misty was like. Yeah. Just a couple of waves of waves of, of enemies. Yeah. And we haven't found a way to skip this in Boggy. So it's not it's too long. Here we go. Ambush complete for Crazy Frog. And D3 will be there pretty shortly. Well, now Crazy Frog is moving over towards Flut Flut. Yeah, rescued this. Uh... Well, I can't think of the words I was going to say. This thing? <laughs> yeah, rescued Flut Flut. Uh, which is in the egg, immediately available to rides. That's yes. fine. Oh, okay. I was, I was about to say, did did he realise it? Missed that one. The answer ended up being yes. Oh. Yep. Glad. Mm -hmm. Always glad. Yeah. Yeah, so... Kind of stuck in this area at the moment. There are, there are ways of getting uh, Fluffler out, but it just doesn't end up being worth it until... Uh, in this category, anyway. Just because yeah. of this. Because of this. <laughs> yes. But after um, this. <laughs> yeah, onto rats. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I gotta, I gotta play it. Yeah. No, not on stream, obviously. But... Yeah. Does anyone have the copy pasta? <laughs> I don't. Alright, yeah, this is... It, it's like the worst part of skill. Like, there, there's... Yeah. There is like an element of skill to it, but it's just the worst minigame. You can get messed up so easily. Yeah. And the thing is, I, I believe, someone correct me, uh, I believe it's time based and not number of enemies based. So it doesn't matter how quickly you kill them. If you kill, kill them all too quickly, more will just spawn. Oh, really? That's interesting. I, I believe someone would have to correct me. I, I'm pretty sure I've had that. Howdy, friends. Enjoying my beautiful swamp? I own these here parts. Everything that doesn't sink into the mud, that is. <laughs> Judging by the smell, I'd wager your bathtub sank in the mud long ago. What's a bathtub? Mike says yes. Anyway, I got oh, now. Jack and uh, Jack and Daxter too. Uh, yeah, or they the... did make a Jack and Daxter too. It was the Lost Frontier. True. <laughs> oh my God. I've been putting out his favorite snacks. You could keep those pesky critters away long enough. I just know Farley will smell them vitals and come back. Nice. Go. So crazy frog had a nice. Oh, yeah. Good. And also, Mike said, uh, yes to what you said. So Go it is time we're based. Oh, was he, was, he, did, was he saying it to that? I thought he was saying that to the Lost Frontier. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm mega confused. I think he's saying that it's time we're based for rats. Yeah, yeah, right.
over there. Is that what he's saying? With subtitles, this is so weird. I've never put together like half of the things that he says. Oh, G3. <laughs> you see right at the end how they just sneak up on you like that. Yeah. Thanks a heap for the help. Nice. 200 out of 200 from Crazy Frog. Yeah. Ah, oh, he's a right sider. Ah. <laughs> so, what you'll see, what you'll be seeing now is uh, Boulder Skip coming straight up to Claw. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you. Observant people might have noticed we haven't quite collected everything yet, but uh, unless you want to watch a two minute long cutscene, it's better just to get Claw out of the way now. Yes, agreed. Crazy Frog is trying to strat there, where if you stand right on the very edge of this uh, middle platform, on either the left or the right, on the little sticky out corner, uh, the boulders just completely miss you and don't damage you in any way. So, But you'll see a an even better strat a second. So by picking up one eco to shoot the boss, it runs out right as he fires that giant boulder. G3 is a left uh, uh, person <laughs> on the exiting boggy there, just want to point out. Uh, so yeah, we, then you can pick up two eco, which is enough to make it to quad jump up to this ledge, which just makes the fight trivial. G3 and Crazy Frog getting Boulder Skip first try as well. Yeah, very good. Oh no, Crazy Frog. Is he going to have enough? No, he's not. He's going to have to do the final phase. I can... <laughs> A lot of zoom ins for us. Yeah. Uh, I, I wouldn't trust my uppercuts. <laughs> I don't trust my uppercuts at the best of times, let alone on third phase claw. He works through it just fine. And is yeah. able to get. Is able to complete phase three of the full of the no. rock. What? He didn't shoot enough. G, G, Crazy Frog, he didn't shoot enough to drop the boulder. How did that happen? That's very interesting. Yeah, because he waited... Because he waited to try and pick up two eco, he didn't shoot enough, so he's got to do phase three again. Oh no. Looks like... So G3 will take a lead here with the boulder on the final bonk. No, no, they're... That's, that's phase two. No, no, the Crazy Frog's still ahead a little bit. Okay. But but it's, it's a lot closer now, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's playing it safe. Oh, he got it now. Yeah, he did. Alright, and so now we take the take the death move up here and then go get the rest of Rock Village completed before 
heading to uh, heading to Mountain Pass. Now we get this. Oh, G3. <laughs> what even happened? Oh, G3. He decided he he decided to do the zoomer walk. Well, did he die completely? He died because he had to redo Claw. He's on phase one. Yeah, but how oh, did he no. die? Oh no! Oh what? What? He what he he missed the he missed an uppercut. He just punched off the top of the cliff into the lava. Oh no! No, that's what I mean when I said I don't, I don't trust my uppercuts. <laughs> oh, G3. Sent backwards. <laughs> like, gotta, gotta, gotta love some of the physics in this game. Yeah. Crazy Frog has completed Rock Village 50 out of 50. All of the scout flies. Yeah. Now. Now Boulder Skip attempt two. Yep. Second Boulder. Second time doing Boulder Skip. Completes it flawlessly. Easy. Easy. All right. Game. Yeah. So now G3 doing the final. Final rock here. He'll get his. Yeah. He'll complete it here. Grab. He'll go back now and do what? Um, what Crazy Frog just did? Yeah, a lot of cutscenes to watch. Yep. But the good part is, is that because we completed Claw, we skipped. The soldier's first cutscene, which is very <laughs> yeah. long. Oh no! All right, I'm gonna be able to recover that pretty easily. Yeah, I I don't I don't think it was G3. It might have been Rubix, but uh, I'm pretty sure in the oh, no, right. I can't remember. Anyway, somebody was uh, running the cutscene skips category, where yeah. you can just press triangle to skip cutscenes. Yeah, and accidentally because the route's slightly different because it doesn't matter that the cutscene's two minutes long that you skip yeah <laughs> just just went up and talked to gladiator and watched the like one minute 53 cutscene oh, or whatever no. I knew that time record would fall. Now, <laughs> and you can't even console reset either <laughs> nope Mountain past the crazy frog. Yeah. Have a cheeky backward cell right here. Uh, they'll yep. One and only like proper backtracking. Uh, it's a good like 30 seconds of just going back across the bit that we've already done. Mm hmm. Okay, so there we go. Oh no, G3 couldn't stay up on the after boulder skip. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to say it. This is like his third attempt. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, got that time. Yeah. I, he he knew that he knew yeah he knew I'd make fun of him even more if he missed it that time. Oh, oh yo, first no. try from Crazy Frog. Yeah, first try on a backward cell jump. Yeah. So he's gonna be on his way into hub three with a size of with a with a mountain pass lead. Yeah. Oh, over uh over G three. Yeah. And he's also a scout flight getter. Yeah, gotta yeah. appreciate that. 
All right, now it's time for Red Sage Skip. We see a gonna see a pause buffer here. Got the buffer. Yes. Gets the death. Buff. Wonderful, wonderful. But again, just making it look easy. Yeah. So we do know that Crazy Frog has a 152. Um, I don't know. I don't know what type of pace he's actually on right now. Um, but it's looking pretty good. To get at least close to PB. Yeah, I, I mean, have to take a guess with how long Hub 3 takes. Alright, and G3 is in Mountain Pass going to just doing his first run through. Meanwhile, it's spider cave time for Crazy Frog. Yeah, so now we're coming to the proper... proper levels of the game. Spider cave oh, and yeah. snowy mountain. Both. Yeah. Extremely difficult. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm gonna say... Snowy Mountain's not hugely difficult, it's just gotcha. so unforgiving. Yeah, I like, gotcha. cannot make any mistakes. Yeah. Spider Cave, on the other hand, is yeah. difficult. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nice. okay, yeah, that makes it difficult. Yeah. Two of the most difficult levels. <laughs> yeah. Go on, G3. First try. Yeah. Got it first try. Let's go. Mama. G3 also gets the scout fly. I like it. Let's see. Okay, okay. He missed the button. That's fine. <laughs> God. Oh, please don't tell me his cameras. What? What was that? Please don't tell me his controller's messing up. I don't save. Don't one. save, G3. Don't save. Nope. Oh, he, he did save! No! He did. Oh, did, oh no. No. Yeah, yeah, that was 100% a controller malfunction. Hmm. Oh, G2 says his controller is breaking. Certainly not. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Well. Uh, so while we might have skipped uh, Gladiator, the first Gladiator cutscene, which is 1 minute 50 something, we instead get to watch this cutscene, which is 2 minutes and 40. What have you two done with the blue and red sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends. You old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Yeah, best, uh... They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You Where's... Oh, yeah, it's okay. Where's Mr. Wah with the with the trivia about Dee Snyder voicing uh, goal? Oh, uh, G3 has controller issues, and he... And then he saved and when he was... Uh, doing something and it caused this yeah he, he messed up red sage skip and then instead of just loading out to reattempt it he accidentally saved so he he saved and loaded in BC. yeah yeah but that's impossible only a precursor robot oh don't look so upset samos we've got big plans for you <laughs> Yeah, two minutes, two minutes thirty-seven. I just looked it up. 
Ah. Silos, the dark eco will twist and destroy, and everything, destroy it everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. Sorry, <laughs> I've been focused too much on the cutscene that I've just not been watching. Nah, Frog's been having a nice time going through uh, Spider yeah. Cave. Um, uh, well, going to... <laughs> why did you say that? Oh, I feel like that was a little bit of a piloting. Uh, <laughs> little pilot brain malfunction more than like yeah yeah cuz yeah you're supposed here you're supposed to uh you're supposed to shoot the crystal here yep yeah i think that's what he wanted to do Instead yeah of roll jump, he roll he jump. To roll then jump yeah all right Cutscene's over, and now G3 is in into Hub 3. I would guess it was just an accident on the save, obviously. But see, because G3 said his controller was... His controller started breaking as, yeah. uh... As and that happened, I want to see it did. Like you, it was noticeably malfunctioning. Yeah, it was definitely noticeably malfunctioning. Yeah, he was having issues with the camera. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Crazy Frogs are probably my favorite part of uh, Hub Three. Just like it was a singular part. Robot room is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. The. Oh no, I forgot that all. Just the like movement where instead of it being like 2D round the ground, etc., like having to go up and down between the levels and root mm -hmm. out all the orbs just makes it yeah. look really cool. Yeah, the crazy frog get all those orbs? He must have done, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he did, okay. Sorry. So he is also listening to me, that's good. <laughs> now this is the worst orb. Got it. Yep. <laughs> I, oh, I'll tell, I'll tell you why G3 watched that cutscene. He, he was in his all cutscene brain. Ah. Uh. Yeah, he was. He, he accidentally switched to best uh, category. <laughs> really smooth for G3 so far afterwards. Haven't seen any major mistake. Yeah, he made that bad cycle look good. Yeah. He really did because of the, how close that uh, yeah. eco time was. Definitely. Alright, into the dark cave for G3. Oh, on the railing, little, little uh, stuck in motion action. Yeah. Alright, meanwhile, Crazy Frog going to do a uh, spider room now it looks like yeah i got stuck on the side of the cobweb just mm. then gotcha this one looks pretty good yeah got it and over got it one yeah oh man. gosh you couldn't get the other one yeah that spin uh messed it up a little bit yeah Yeah, this is easily the worst part of this. Mm-hmm. Agreed. 
Right, if he hadn't already got a box, that bonk would have been a restart. <laughs> yep. Even then, how close that was to get that yeah. box. Agreed, it was so close. Here we go. Runs Frida. passing each other. Yeah. <laughs> one on the way out, one on the way in. Definitely, yeah. Just a few more orbs in this last power cell. So... Uh, I think there's a scout fly, only one scout fly left here. Uh, no, there should have. I think mean, Crazy Frog should have them all. Oh, okay. G2 sounds sounds good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, there's just a couple of, of orbs left for 200 oh, out of 200. Yeah. yeah, just some orbs. I thought there might be a flat scout flight, but there's the last one. Last thing is squad jump. Yep, gonna get the quad jump uh, yep. power cell, and that's it. Getting that cell as intended. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh, that was a that was an interesting amount of movement there for G3. <laughs> I think. Do we have daytime snowy? I love daytime snowy. Daytime snowy is great. Let's see if we get daytime snowy. It looks like we do. Yeah. I think we do as well. Oh, we've got late morning snow. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Where's that evening snow? I can't tell. Either way, it looks good. <laughs> yeah, agreed. Do we have any open goal mods here? We need to we need to ask if uh, setting the or like locking the time of day is allowed or not. I would, oh. I would assume not because it's something that we use for verification. But oh, gotcha. Well done by Crazy. First try. Yeah. E3, uh, taking an interest in the floor just there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. gosh. <laughs> All good, now he'll just go this way. Yeah, He's on the I... same part. He's going to spiders now. So Crazy had a, a weird checkpoint there. He must have gone underneath the checkpoint trigger gotcha. here in front of the fortress, which is really annoying. Mm-hmm. All right, G3, G3 first try, gets both boxes. Saves a little time. But the rough part is, is that watching the Sage cutscene, the red Sage cutscene skip is almost just completely backbreaking without some major, major mistakes from Crazy Frog for the rest of the race. Yeah, which, which you can't rule out, but... Yeah, definitely. So, as you said, like, if, if you... As you'll see, we spend a lot of the time on Flut Flut, so yeah. losing it after this is quite painful, but yes. what, is it three minutes painful? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. This crazy was already ahead going going into this yeah, part, so true. 
We'll see how this goes. We're now on our way to the fort. Make sure we're... Oh, we're taking a different route. Okay. Yeah, I mean, get it out of the way. That is we're gonna really open... Correct. Gonna open the yellow eco vent now. Uh, would have been really useful for uh, the orbs back in Spider Cave, but uh, now nah, I gotta go yeah. fast. Gotta do, uh, gotta do Spider Cave first. Yeah. yeah. Because gondola skip is quite nice to do now, or to do after. Yeah. Oh. Trouble there. Got it. I'm interested in this route. Yeah, me too. Cause you got everything. A little backward, a little backwards movement. Okay, now we're going back to the. Yeah, I mean it might just be a mistake. True. Or I mean, that... unless you unless you know something that we don't like, don't rule that out. <laughs> yeah, that's well, true. And here also, isn't this a lot more difficult to do on open gold? Yes, very much so. That little the, power spell cuts and skip is insane. Got the full second vent, or got one of the vents fully there. Oh! <laughs> oh and then almost soft up himself. <laughs> yep. Uh. Managed to get, managed to move though, and not have to get soft locked. Yeah. Smooth movement. Oh, you hate that. <laughs> Just stopping on the edge of the pole. Yeah. Okay, so so I think Crazy Frog was actually in the evening. Oh, but, okay. Uh, G three definitely has daytime body. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man. G three not able to get enough momentum to go over the hill. Got it that time. So the flat flat, so just picking up these little orbs here. Yep. We just saw Crazy Frog do the secret, do the secret crate. Oh, lost. Fell off, but not too much uh, distance loss before he, before G3 fell, so it should be just fine. Yeah. And I heard the power cell pop out for uh, Crazy Frog, so. Yeah. He's got all the blockers. Yep. Gonna, 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 it's gonna finish up getting orbs the last power cell yeah. uh or the blockers power cell because now we now he goes to do uh the last scout fly here Skip is completed. Yep. Yeah, right. yeah. That is very Man, good. Yep, lands right next to Gordian Willard. Yeah, and he got the uh, he got the uh, volcanic crater checkpoint as well. Good. I don't believe you did. What's so would he have missed? 
I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I'm just going through. Like I know he diverted the route a little bit, but I don't think. But he the route, but the route version. I don't think you missed. You missed any. No, because he just caught up there. He got that. There. Did he? Yeah, no, I mean, I maybe I don't remember if you. I don't remember seeing you beat all the fortress guys, but I've also been going back and forth between both of you. I mean. You get this cell here. Oh, he, got, he got all the fortress guys. Did he not? Did he not grab that cell? That G three just got maybe. No, he I don't did. know. I that. Oh, okay. This Sounds this good. should be eighty eight. If he's got everything. Oh, okay. Oh, it didn't. It didn't pop up. <laughs> At least I didn't see it. This should be eighty nine. <laughs> Too quick. Oh, it did say 88. Did, okay. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, so 88 is correct. So. Okay, cool. So now you're good. So you're a good frog, yep. Oh, oh, yeah, I got it this time. Uh, here's a... Here's a... A power cell. Yes, yeah, what he said. That's it. Cleaned us out. Oh, excuse no me. No more power cells. I mean, I don't have Crazy Frog's like stream open, but I would assume he's asking that because he golded Snowy or something, which is insane. I hope. I'm hoping that's the case anyway. Were we looking at 88 when it was supposed to be 86? Hold up. Now he should be on 93. Three. Yeah. 93. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he, I know he's fine. I'm just paranoid now. Mm -hmm. It's really late. <laughs> yeah, it's quite late for you. Alright, there's all the power cells done um, for Frog here in Hub 3. Okay, that's... here is a successful gondola skip for G3 as well. Yeah, I'd like to see it. Yeah, I was, oh shit, I was thinking, what can I do? <laughs> I, was, I was like... I mean, I play open goal on an Xbox controller because I'm a scrub like that, so... Mm. <laughs> That's what I would probably do. To, actually, now I have a DS4 that I would play with. Yeah, I do. Ha I've literally got a DS4 behind me as well, but I... No. Yeah. It doesn't hold it. It feels like it just doesn't hold a charge for me, so I. So I oh, probably I've have. Got the wire. I'd keep my wire in. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. I would need a better wire. 
All right, here we're in lava tube. That's 50 out of 50 on power cell. It's time to do oranges. Smooth. That's not bad at all. Smooth. Yeah, indeed. A nice snipe as well with the scout fly. Yeah. Well, Scout Fly's gotten from that section. Yeah, and G3 as well is uh, all finished up with VC. Yeah. All in all, Citadel could have. Citadel could. could bring G3 back into it. Uh, overall. Well, I mean, it could, but. Uh... It'd be tough. There's a lot of pause buffers, so G3 still got to go through those. True, true, true. <laughs> I mean, both of them do. Yeah, but I know, I know, I know. G3 through. has the history of <laughs> of things, but there's a pause buffer there. Successful for Frog. Don't have to listen to Kira. Now we're gonna get the. Then we're gonna get the pause buffer here for uh, Citadel. G3 is missing 17 orbs. Alright. What? Hmm? Apparently, G3 is missing a massive amount of orbs. Oh, really? I didn't realize that. Where do I miss 70? Oh, he... Nice. I... I... I do think it's quicker to do... Uh, to do, like, HUD strats here, but if you miss... If you mess up for whatever reason, uh, you do crash if you uh, accidentally collect these power cells. They need... You need to get the cutscene skips for them, otherwise you do crash. Oh, he's having a bit of a rougher time getting down here. Yeah. He's, he needs to get that Got last that board. time. Oh. A little too much time of stuff taken off from that so far. I think I might be ahead of you. Are you watching? I was watching stream. Yeah. I was yeah. watching stream, that's all. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I also checked Crazy's stream, and he doesn't have what's pulled up. He just has a timer running, so. Okay. And so I, I, so I was wondering why he specifically asked. Yeah, I... Yeah. I did think I do think that he said that his PB wasn't accurate though. So oh. do we know? Yeah, no, his PB is one fifty two. Okay. Yeah, still, he said it. He yeah. said it was a one fifty two. Yeah. Yeah, still that's that's an He's... insane PB. Yeah. Pace at the moment. Yep. Uh, and yeah, G three is currently missing sixteen orbs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think G three is gonna try and bother to go find them. I don't know if it was in VC or if it was somewhere else. No, uh, VC, he got them all. Sure. Uh, it's... We saw, I mean, we did see the double PB race between Roser and Rubix. That was pretty sick. Yeah, yeah, that was... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you definitely, you commentated it. <laughs> that was awesome. I, 
I'm always a bit of a clueless when it comes to things. Um, I don't remember specifically tracking that he had all of them. I'm, I'm pretty sure he was on a multiple of 10 after uh, Hub 2. Wait, did he just... Oh, I was about to say, did he just save again? He didn't. He loaded that time. <laughs> Hey, that's some, that's some G3 pause buffers. You love to see it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he got uh, it. Snowy. Yeah, snowy mountain. I... Did he... Did he do the flop flop section? No, he did. I remember him doing it. But there's, there, I'm pretty sure there's exactly 14 down there. Hmm. But I'm pretty sure he also did that. Yeah. Oh, Maybe he's by he's 15. A... Okay. Yeah, I didn't remember seeing him leave Snowy in particular. I just saw him do Gondola Skip. Meanwhile, we've got... Crazy making his way to the... Um... Towards the yeah, this section with the with the couple of orbs on the platform. Who needs this platforming the second time? Just do a yeah. just do a boosted. G3 did no LTS uh, lurker for. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's heartbreaking. Gotcha. So he knew exactly where it was once he got there before. Yeah, that's insane. There it is. He found the hey. mall. Now he's gotta go. Now, now, no, idle no, deload. Idle deload into... <laughs> into launchpad room. You know you want to. <laughs> Unless he doesn't know the strat, because... <laughs> He just, he's just gonna ride the gondola down. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna do this strat? To load into LT. Yes! Oh, you love to see it. You love when people do on foot gondola skip. Oh no. Okay, he did spin. Okay. Oh no, he spun too late. <laughs> oh. Brutal. Oh, no, that cycle from Crazy Frog. Yeah, oh, okay. a good cycle. Yeah, well, good first cycle. Unfortunate about the third one. Yeah, it's all good though. He'll... Yeah, it's still cracked. Yeah, it's super cracked. All right. Yeah, that's that was a that's a good cycle. All right. We're about to see. Da. <laughs> All right, let's see after this 2,000 out of 2,000 on our way to uh, on our way to the boss. Here we go. Yeah, we're looking at a we're looking at a 150 50 probably. Oh, okay. I had to guess. Gotcha. Uh <laughs> G three's not even finishing. <laughs> I just realized he's standing there. Yeah, I think G I think G I think G three is watching Crazy Frog finish. Yeah, I don't blame yeah. him. No, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, this is a really amazing run by Frog, for sure. And the one frame! Oh, he got a one frame! <laughs> yes! Just to add the swag at the end, I love it. Yeah. I say swag, like, that's quicker, but... <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ooh, okay, okay, he's fine, he's fine. Not even worried. Up that life. All right, time to get the final shots on this robot. <laughs> Is this a Rick? Look at it, G3. Is he watching Rick? <laughs> can we? Can we just add a picture of an onion right on top of G3 stream? Like... <laughs> it's amazing. All right. Yeah, you're right. It'll be a one fifth mid one fifties. Yeah, G three disqualified, unmodded, everything. Might stop that robot. Stay fuzzy. Save the world. Choices. Okay, fine. Hey, fine. We'll save the world. We're not gonna take it. Ernest. One. 44. Yeah, let me just check his. Do let me just check Jeez. his stream quick to see what it was. 150.39. 39. 39. On his clock. Yeah. yeah. Is this what? Is this 44 on the race thing, though? But yeah, really great time. Yeah, almost insane. a two-minute PB. All right. Yeah, GGS. <laughs> yeah, the runners, the runners can uh, unmute and undeafen when they're when they're good. <sighs> yeah, speaking oh, of GGS, G three. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what happened, oh, man? <laughs> my yeah, I didn't um I didn't test my controller before um playing. <laughs> yeah. You, it was yeah. it was doing okay and then it was like base and hit and I think maybe just holding down X for that long it really started to mess up the game. And and then just an LPC, I just got so many random like I would press square and it would oh. spin. It, or I would spin and it would do a ground. Like if I did tried to do like a um, double jump spin, it would ground pound after the double jump. And I'm like, what? It it killed me in claw. Like I went to do an up like um just a double jump or something, and then it just ground pounded into the lava or something. I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. I'm, like red sage, I couldn't do red sage because it just kept rolling and jumping everywhere, um, and I wasn't touching L1. <laughs> Yeah, that's it was annoying. it was awful. Uh, sorry, just quick, G three. Can you pull Crazy Frog back in? Oh yeah. Uh, one sec. Yep. There, there we, we are. Hey, GG. Oh, GG Frog. What happened to you, G three? I just. I just watched the um, and controller the just decided to like not function, so I just uh, I got tilted. <laughs> yeah, okay. I lost like five minutes in hub two. Just oh my deaths. god! Yeah, hey, he he decided to halfway through switch to all cutscenes and watch Red Sage as well. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, controller you, you issues, just, man. Just go back and look at the like just what happened during my Red Sage, and you can see that. Something yeah, wasn't quite right. Like <laughs> it was it was awful. <laughs> and at that point I just gave up and I was just kinda just watching you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that um, that was an insane run. Congrats on the PB. Thanks, Matt. Um 
I honestly, I thought it was pretty good. There were some like big mistakes, I think. Like I, I failed that phase of claw. I don't even know. If, did you notice that or not? Um, I like. Yeah, 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 that was you. <laughs> and then you I accidentally picked up um, two EP or just picked up one and. Yeah, I just started shooting the ground. You know, oh. that, that spot where I just like shoot nothing. Yeah. Um, and then I failed fish skip. I just, I just was an idiot and like uppercut it out of it, and I got killed. So, um, like yeah, I, I, I'm, I noticed you were on really good pace early, um, especially through like hub two. Because I was yeah. I was keeping up with you. I was two minutes ahead of my PB, like going into really? basin, and you were ahead of me. And I'm like, or I think I, we were like even. I'm like, wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, like LPC was pretty good because I got button clip, like first try I think, um, and that would have saved me like a minute over my PB. Um, yeah, it was pretty solid until I figured I got lost in snowy. I just did the wrong thing. Um, and I had to like go around the other way into the cave to get the stuff. And I thought I missed a cell, so... And I thought I missed a, an orb in jungle, and it's... <laughs> I didn't notice until in Sentinel, you know when you get the 300 on the pelican? You get yeah. the pelican cell? I didn't even realize. Um, but then I, I, I knew that I didn't because I had the right orbs. <laughs> Yeah, GG. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, um is Saren here? Yeah, is Saren uh, here or? Uh, I mean, we do have another race coming up in like ten minutes, so uh, I don't know if you. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Who is yeah, it? So, Mike and someone. Yeah, so it's Mike versus Reese. Mike uh, versus Reese in the upper bracket. So this race was low was losers round two, mm -hmm. um, which unfortunately means G three will be eliminated. Hey, um, and, and crazy go. and crazy frog will go to face Mortis in losers round three. Oh. Nice. Um, so yeah, and this this next match will determine the final person who. We'll be playing Bin down in losers round three, and we'll determine who makes semi, who makes winner semifinals. So tune into that shortly. Um, otherwise, I think that's all we have for now, and we will see everyone when the next race starts.